Now, in the last video, I talked about distilling machines, okay, to make the distilled water. Have you bought a brand new distilling machine? They're going to turn around and they're going to tell you. I'll show you a picture. This is a picture of my distilling machine. Okay, you've seen it before. Now, this is a very common distilling machine you see on Amazon. Um, what they tell you in the instructions is that you have to distill four or five batches of water in it before you can get real distilled water out of it. And you might wonder why that is. And I'm going to tell you a little secret about this, okay? Um, the reason they tell you that is because of this little tip here. See this little tip on the end of the distiller? Inside that tip, they put carbon filter. A little bag of carbon. Now, if you've never ever used this carbon filter before and you put it in your distiller, you are going to get your first few batches of distilled water are going to have carbon things in them. And if you do that and you do your... TDS, your TDS meter in there, it's going to read all like 20 or 30 parts per million and totally no good for our purposes for, for, distill, for uh, colloidals. So you're going to wind up having to cook four or five batches of this uh, thing, but it's not to clean the machine, okay? The machine is perfectly clean. It's to clean this here. Now, if you took this out, which is what I do, and don't ever use it, you can get distilled zero parts per million distilled water out of your distilling machine right from the get-go. Now, the problem with that um, is something called, um, oh gosh, I forgot the term. Anyway, um, it's, a, it's what's, what the distiller can't get out. The distiller can't get out chemicals like chlorine and fluoride. And some water systems, they put chlorine and fluoride in there. We have well water here. Um, might be small amounts of that of stuff, uh, chemicals in the water, though I doubt it. Um, but if you've got city water, you certainly got some sort of chemicals in there. Now, if you distill water, um, you're still going to get the chemicals are going to be left behind. So the purpose of the carbon is to remove the chemicals. So you need a carbon block at some point in the system. So if you've got no other thing, just a distilled, distilling machine, and you don't have an RO water, now RO water filtration has a carbon block, okay, process in it. It goes through, a car, it goes through the uh, cotton filter, you know, fabric filter. It goes through a paper filter. Then it goes through, depending on the RO unit, but it, they all go through a carbon filter. And that carbon filter will strip any chemicals that might be in the real water out of it. And then what I do is I take, I fill my distilled, distilling water machine with RO water, not tap water. So now it's already been through a carbon filtration system. So there's no need to put this thing in this in here and introduce any more particulates than, I, than you need. Um, personally, I, I do not like the idea of taking pure distilled water and passing it through a carbon filter after it's been purified, uh, but I understand the need if you're in a household that has, you know, uh, tap water, city water with chemicals in it. Uh, it's the only way to get the chemicals out of your distilled water. The problem is you're only going to get five or six or maybe 10 batches out of this thing before this starts leaching chemicals back into your distilled water. And you're going to wonder why your distilled water has gone up. And you can buy these on Amazon. I mean, they're not extremely expensive, but then the problem is every time you replace this, you got the same problem. You have to distill a whole bunch of water all over again in order to clean this enough to... Um, be able to use it for distilled water. Um, I would suggest what you can do with this is boil this in water. Take a, if you got distilled water, right, from your distilling machine, put it in a little pot and boil it and throw this in for five or ten minutes to boil away the excess carbon in here and clean this thing and then stick it in here. That's that's not my preferred method. My preferred method is to filter this before, use the carbon filter before you do your distilled water. Um, so if you had an RO 
setup, you, which has the, just the carbon filter built in, um, you just pour the RO water into uh, your distilling machine. If you don't have an RO unit, you can get one of those, fil those filters they sell on, uh, I'll, I'll link to something on Amazon and show you a picture of it. They have a carbon filter in there and you you put your tap water through it and you let your tap water, it drips through the thing and it filters it all out. Well, that'll put that tap water through a carbon uh, filtration system. So then you could take that tap water, which has dripped into the bottom of this uh, drip filter system um, and use it to distill your water with. And then you don't need to put this in the output of the distilled water. Um, I personally don't, if you need real distilled water and you're adding car, you is sif, sif, siphoning it through carbon, you don't have distilled water anymore. I don't care. Even after boiling this thing, I still had one or two parts per million coming out in my distilled water. I tried. I said, let's see about what this, this thing does. And no, um, it actually added more to my water than I needed. So that is my advice is get rid of the carbon thing in the, in the top of your filter and get RO water, fill your thing with RO water or um, filtered or get, get one of those filtering water, water things off of uh, Amazon or your local supply or whatever. So that is my chat on water and water filtration. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Hermes. This is Reality Creative Video and I will talk to you again soon.